Hello, I'm Daria, co-founder of Soulscreen.io and today we're gonna talk about very interesting topic uh, which you probably didn't expect me to cover but it's actually why you can consider Russia as the market which you wanna sell in. First of all, uh, as you know, because of many political issues, this market become very cl close and restricted market so basically lots of big brands they left the country uh, and uh, this is the time there is the e-commerce are doing extremely well because of that reason particularly and uh, also the thing is that the russia is the country is a very big country which covered uh, with lots of lots of small uh, cities with the very huge distance between each of them and uh, it creates a lot of logistic issues so that's why e-commerce is growing uh, really fast because this is the easiest way to get whatever you want especially for those who live in it at the small uh, cities the next reason is that actually economy in Russia is getting worse like uh, like basically the population, the people, they have uh, less money, uh, their uh, currency rate is actually not very stable and ru Russian rubble depreciated a lot. So all of these factors makes customers trying to save money buying online. And today we're gonna cover two largest marketplace in the Russia is Azon and Walgreens. And we're gonna go through uh, how to actually start to doing your uh, business in uh, this country and actually should you consider your, your business in this country first of all I wanted to say that even though there are like political situation is not uh, easy and it's not stable but it's still very big market of course with own risks but for foreign residents for people who wanna come and open the business there are no any changes particularly uh, in law regulations so to start business in Russia is actually the, the same process as many years ago than it was open country first of all let's cover uh, like the, the reasons why you think you may want to sell in this country. Uh, we now check in there Valdris, which is the largest Russian marketplace, and uh, we're gonna check the categories. So from the categories perspective, we're gonna see what is the GMV per this market. So um, we chosen the like previous season. Uh, so let's check uh, the May. Uh, it's kind of more natural. So uh, what actually the size of the market? So Valdris it's, uh, has around 70, 60 to 70% of whole e-commerce market in the country and the monthly revenue in May more than 244 billion rubles which is around 2.4 billion USD. So can, can you imagine how big the market is? it's like literally very very good numbers and what you can see here the number of stores there it's 300,000 stores and i guess this is still a good ratio because if you can check this ratio like for example for amazon amazon has more than 1 million sellers only in the us and almost 700,000 sellers uh, in the uh, UE. So I guess this is the really, really, really good numbers. The second thing, what you can see here is actually uh, what the categories are there. Uh, unfortunately, we get categories as is from the marketplace, so we didn't translate it, but I'm gonna give you the like simple split. First of all, uh, this is the category called woman. So this marketplace is particularly specialized on fashion products so it's fashion is the largest category for this marketplace then second one is home the next one is sport then babies then beauty then shoes then men so uh, that kind of categories are there uh, and as you can see here this there are very healthy uh, revenue um, in the marketplace 
The second question you want to ask yourself if e-commerce is, is booming in Russia. As I mentioned, yes, because of all, all of this uh, difficulties, all the struggles now like business faced in Russia. Uh, yes, marketplace is actually booming. This is the really good time to start to sell. Uh, and if you're going to check the products uh, here, uh, the best seller products, first of all, the first one is cosmetic item uh, with the price of ten dollars. Uh, the second is actually uh, socks. Then there is the fashion item again, the laundry men laundry and Sarah. Uh, so as you can see here, that the, the best sellers are very very diversified. As and the the best thing what you can learn about this, that actually there are a lot of small businesses which are make the smart decision on how to sell on marketplaces so actually they are doing quite well and as you see if there are a lot of uh, customers like female customers so uh, I, I suggest to sell the products of that kind of category of people but honestly if you sell in electronics or if you send in any other category is also selling very very well in marketplace such as Valveris although there are other marketplace calls Ozone which is highly welcoming uh, sellers from all over the world especially China, UAE and Tokyo, they opened the, the offices in China and Tokyo. So they, they plan to open the uh, office in the UAE. So they actually have special cross-border department which handling all of the sellers. Um, they also have like procurement team in the UAE who actually procuring their electronic items mostly from the market but if you wanna get into the market you definitely need to talk with this team and also you can start to sell by 1p model basically to sell it to marketplace your items or you can start as a sellers by 3p model so you actually can register and for Azon the beauty of Azon that you do not need to be a Russian resident to sell in Russia you can sell it through cross-border uh, model and actually your stocks not shouldn't be for the, the, when you're working with this model your uh, products not necessarily needed to be in Russia in the country it could be outside and once you get Get the uh, order you send it by ozone delivery to the country of your destination so I guess this is the really really great opportunity especially you if you are owner of private label uh, you can make uh, the, the, this market actually works uh, very very well for you uh, the second thing what I wanted to mention Wildberries actually they just opened the cross-border department as well and this year they're gonna focus on global sellers including China, UAE, uh, Turkey and many other countries they all focus to bring all these products to Russia and also they probably gonna build the logistics uh, network because the head of this department he is actually ex colleague of mine and he has very good background in the logistics so he was ex head of uh, Tainiao uh, like uh, for Russia and now he's actually head of this department so I think it's really amazing opportunity if you want to learn more I suggest you to connect with other uh, sales team and they are gonna let you know how you can uh, actually start your business and what you need to do to do so I hope this video was interesting for you and you get some valuable insights and if you like this video please put thumbs up subscribe to our channel because this is the thing what helped us to move forward if you want to learn more about the marketplaces such as on and valberries uh, you're gonna find their free promo code for seven days uh, for sellscreen.io where you can actually explore those data uh, and i wish you have a great sales bye